Let's take a look at this camera. It's the Vivitar DVR 789HD. I think it's about $40. Meant to be a small, like, GoPro type. It's an action camera. I bought it because it was $40. Bucks. It seemed like they got similar ones in this style. Packaging without destroying it appears. Got the camera. Got your standard size knob there. There we go. Alrighty. So that's without the waterproof casing. Just a little camera. It's tiny. It's light. Let's see how much it weighs. Alright, let's fire this up. See how much the camera by itself weighs. Oh, less than two ounces. So let's try her. This little case thingy. Wow, a little over four ounces. Let's see what else we got in the box. Accessories inside. Let's see. Pop it open there. Got your instructions. USB charging cable. Felt with an adhesive backing. It's supposed to have a bicycle camera mount. Or, uh, it's supposed to have a bicycle handlebar mount, which I assume this is. You can see right there, it's got two clamps. Yeah, it's got two clamps there, so that's for that. This must be for the helmet. Let's see how that works. Uh, <clears throat> it works remotely, so it has a wristband remote here. That's pretty cool. So for 40 bucks, you get a camera with a waterproof case. You get two mounts. You get a power supply. And you have what looks like a wrist lock here. Let's check it out. Yeah, some kind of cam buckle thingy. This appears to be the one where you would put it. This here, it's got the adhesive with the backing. I'm assuming it goes underneath that clamp there. And it looks like this, this mount here is compatible with a GoPro. So you could probably use this as a GoPro adapter to, uh, to mount on any of your... Uh, chest rigs and all that. Let's see what's going on there. Yeah, it does. That's not bad. Well, let's fire it up and see how she looks. All right, now we're recording. That was, uh, that was a little tricky, trying to click the button. So, I will tell you, the instructions suck, okay? They are pretty, um, they're pretty shitty um, as far as what they tell you um, so for starters it says it can only support up to 32 gigabytes well it's got a 64 gigabyte in there right now and it's working just fine so or maybe I just don't know the technical data specs to uh, well enough but uh, as far as turning the video it was on it says uh, this is the default mode with your camera turning on to take a video in your camera desired and press the shutter OK button. Well, <clears throat> I had to do that multiple times to get it to work. So <clears throat> I guess you just keep hitting it till it comes on. I don't know. We'll see. After I shoot some video with it, I got. Um, I'm going to do a review of some fishing equipment here pretty soon, and uh, we'll see. So as you can see. Uh 
it's pretty decent quality as far as image capture goes. It has a, a wider zoom or a wider uh, pan to it for catching action. Um, even the internal microphone um, flat out stinks. Um, I saw some other videos out here on YouTube where the the audio was pretty bad, but they had it in the waterproof case, um, right? And it was sealed up; you couldn't hear anything, which is expected. This one, I had it, I had it running just on the tripod right here <clears throat> with uh, the the built-in mic, and it's got you know three holes in it right there for the microphone and it was still very muted quality audio um and granted it's just one run and sitting there and putting it on my desk or wherever and, and talking with to it not really what it's going to be used for it's it's an action camera it's going to be i wear it when i go fishing or hunting or something like that <clears throat> so it's not really um yeah it's, it's not gonna you're not gonna get any cecil b DeMille awards anytime with it but for 40 bucks, you know, it does its its basic utilitarian purpose, and I, I don't know. I'm going to give it some more. Uh, I'll do a follow-up after some time using it with different things, but just the unboxing and my initial impressions. Um, um, yeah, 40 bucks. yeah, I, I, I'd say it might be worth it, um, especially when you look at all the other gear you get. Um, you get basically stuff you could use with a GoPro or any other action camera. Thanks for watching.